How's it going guys? Welcome back to Beyond Boar, your one-stop shop for Beyond Meat news and analysis. So I apologize guys for no video in the past week, although I try not to spam you guys with videos if I have nothing to talk about, you know, I only try to just cover, you know, relevant news. And if I have any other video ideas too, I'll squeeze those in. But if I have really no video ideas, no relevant news, then I'm not going to spam you guys, even though it probably is good for the YouTube algorithm to post every day. Again, I just don't want to give you guys redundant contents that you don't really need. That's why I encourage any new subscribers to go back and check out my old videos because I again I try not to repeat myself I usually just talk about a certain topic once and then I move on because I assume that uh, people have seen my other videos maybe that's not the best strategy but again I try not to repeat myself for my subscribers but today guys I thought it would be fun and informative to look at some beyond chicken tender reviews on YouTube there's currently four videos out right now that review them so I'm just gonna play a quick supercut of their reactions to these and then I'll give my thoughts at the end right off the bat though I recognize some of these YouTube channels this infinite life these guys are really cool they have an entire vegan family that they're always trying to vegan stuff and they're, they're just really cool positive people and right here we have edgy veg who's just a, a a vegan youtuber i'm pretty sure she just has quite the big following 428,000 subscribers so without further ado let's uh, see what they thought wait wait no no seriously it tastes exactly how fancy it's to taste winston how is it <laughs> It tastes exactly like KFC, it's a taste. Same texture and everything, look at that. Guys, how does it compare to the other chicken, chicken tenders you've had? Mm. It's even Do way they, better. They're in a whole nother league. How does it taste of the chicken sandwich, guys? It tastes like what chicken sandwiches used to taste like when I was like a little kid, before we even went vegan. The best vegan chicken sandwich I've ever had. Mmm, the lap is the vegan KFC. This is the vegan KFC. This is the vegan McDonald's tender. This is the vegan Wendy's. This is the vegan everything. <laughs> Any vegan chicken. This tops that. This tops even chicken period. And batch dipping and ranch sauce. Mmm. -hmm. This is mmm. -hmm. <laughs> this is just mmm. -hmm. Told ya. <laughs> like they've oh. mastered the formula. All it takes is one bite. They have mastered it. And you eat the sandwich, it looks delicious. Mm. Oh my gosh. There's nothing this chicken is not good in. Literally nothing. It looks so good. Scale of 1 to 10. 21. A 21. Give the chicken tender the scale from 1 to 10. 10. 10 out of both. 110. 210. I'm sorry, that beats out any other chicken on the market. Beyond, vegan chicken is the closest to chicken. I'm telling you guys. I'm gonna taste test it now, and I'm gonna compare it to the first time that we had Beyond, and the second time that we had Beyond. Mmm. It's right here. Tastes like real chicken. Quite delicious. I think this definitely is the best chicken on the market. Okay, now this is a good chicken nugget. Yeah. Sorry, Nugs. You are not the best. This is... Oh, yeah. This is really good. Mm hmm Wow. Okay. Yeah, it really does taste like chicken. This is really good. Even the aftertaste is, like, really nice. And mm. even, even the aftertaste is, like, reminiscent of, like, that kind of chicken aftertaste. Yeah, this is a shock. Okay. This really tastes like chicken. This is really good, guys. Like, if you picked up the wrong thing, yeah. I probably wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, yeah, like, this is gonna make you, like, you wanna have- The this. aftertaste, <laughs> like, it, get, it just starts to taste even more like chicken. You want to have this only at a vegan restaurant so that there's no like, oh, did I get the wrong thing? <laughs> anyway. This is like really the one product that I feel has actually like nailed the chicken taste even down to like kind of that like almost like sourish taste that chicken tends to have. Hmm. Like meat eaters will be really happy. That's all I can say. Like I, I, I already want to have this on a wrap. I already want to put a couple pieces on like a, ch a chicken burger. Like I want to put some on a salad. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, this would be awesome on a salad. Okay, guys, we are going to go broke. Thank you, Beyond. And here I've had it in a chicken wrap. So good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's really, I'm fucking convinced. That tastes like a chicken nugget, chicken tender, whatever you want to call it. They call it tender. You know, I feel you. But that's good. That's good. It's got a nice crisp on the, the crust. The, the batter. It's nice and got that salt to it, you know, that you want from a fried piece of chicken. And the inside, man, these are pretty good. They hold up to a, a chicken tender. Beyond, fly right, you nailed it. You nailed it. I love the breading. This looks so good. Yeah, the breading, I kind of want to taste it. Mmm. 
Yeah, I like the breading. Mm -hmm. It smells really chickeny. Oh yeah, it smells really chickeny. Okay, I'm, this is really hot, so I'm going in with my finger, with my uh, fork. All right. Try without the sauce first. Oh yeah, I guess so. That's outstanding. You know when you like used to eat chicken and there was that very distinct like chick biting on chicken mm -hmm. like texture? They nailed that. The texture and the flavor, like the aftertaste, it's so savory, like yeah. chicken soup in your mouth. That's what it, it tastes like grandma's chicken soup, but yeah. like in this. Oh my God, this is like, Unreal. I win with my plum sauce. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Okay, you win. Okay, here's the thing. With a lot of vegan nuggets, they're really dry inside. Or mushy. Or mushy, and this is not, you have to try this. All right, so what are your, no, you know what? Don't tell me your take. And I am a um, chicken strip connoisseur. Oh, I didn't know that about you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well. It tastes like a non, they're good. Let me start with that. They taste good, the bread is nice. Um, mm, I, I love this. Yeah, they're nice and moist. I would recommend to everybody, if they sold these in restaurants, I would order them every time. Yeah, they're really good. I really like them. Yeah, sold. Mm -hmm. if, they should make this into a chicken burger. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's amazing. Yeah, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. Bread and scrape. Inside is perfect. It's a little bit oily on your fingers, but not more than a, a regular nugget, I guess. It's so flavorful, and I feel like a lot of the time when you're buying like nuggets or strips that are vegan, it's kind of dry on the inside, and like you're more tasting the breading than anything else. Mm -hmm. Like they don't season the inside, they only season the breading. Yeah, this is so like moist. 10 out of 10, beyond me, you did it again. Keep doing what you're doing. Well guys, there you have it. Pretty much overwhelmingly positive reviews from everybody. One thing I did notice is that three of the four reviewers who were very familiar with other vegan products, other vegan chicken tenders, they either heavily implied or just outright said that Beyond had the best chicken product on the market, which again, guys, is exactly what we're looking for. We want Beyond to have the superior product than all their competitors in their respective categories, which it seems like they may have nailed with these Beyond chicken tenders. Because if a company has the superior your product and the first mover advantage that Beyond has, that is just game over at that point for any competition. An example, Coke and Pepsi, they pretty much dominate the entire market still to this day. Not only do you need the first mover advantage, but again, having the superior product is key to maintaining that foothold, maintaining that market dominance, which again, seeing this really just reassures my position and Beyond my conviction that I have. So this pretty much just reinstates why Beyond is my number one holding and will continue to be to this day. And before I get out of here, guys, I just wanted to do a quick reminder to you guys who may be in New York or California. Um, they did update where the locations are going to be for the Panda Express and it is only 15, or I'm sorry, 13 short hours away. Tomorrow you will be able to get them in New York and Southern California at these select Panda Expresses. Now I gotta say guys, I was thinking about this so much. I was thinking about packing up my stuff, taking a quick road trip to New York, either Monday or Tuesday, probably Tuesday because actually I have an appointment on Monday, but I was thinking it's kind of crazy. It's a four hour drive for me. I was going to drive to New York, try to try the Panda Express and the Beyond Chicken Tenders and just bang them out one after the other. Again, it's a pretty crazy move. I would love to do that for you guys for the channel just to do some intense, super dedicated DD. And also, I just really, really want to try this stuff because I'm a huge Beyond fan, as you guys know. But I guess leave a like on this video, guys, if you want to see that happen. And maybe that'll motivate me to actually do it and uh, actually follow through on it. Because again, it would be a pretty long it would be four hours there four hours back it would be pretty crazy i would try to vlog the whole thing so again it sounds like a really fun idea to me hopefully panda express isn't sold out by tuesday so again leave a like guys and comment if you want to see me do that uh, again i would be <laughs> Again, I definitely need the motivation because it is a pretty crazy thing. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you found it informative. And if you're watching this and you're not subscribed yet and the idea of a Beyond Meat themed channel sounds cool to you, then please do consider subscribing and I will catch you guys in the next one.